what's up my beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's lizzie atkins here as always and i'm back with another bang today is another gilly tutorial i don't know the name of this gilly but keep watching i'm gonna show you how to tie it So I get my gilly and I split it into two 50-50 equal parts. So you can see right there into two equal parts. And then I grab the middle part of it and I just fold it in once. Once that's done, I just take my folded gilly and I place it straight on my model's head from the front so this time around I'm working front to back and then once that's done I try and gather up the extra material together and I just cross it over at the back so my mother's gonna turn around and I just carry them around and I twist it to just make sure all of the extra material put in place and I just twist it like so so just cross them over at the back and then I grab one end and I just twist 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 and I bring it straight across her head once the twist is done so now that the twist is done I get my pins to secure the gilly so I get my pins and I secure my twist with the one that's already the material that's already on my mother's head So I'm just pinning it to secure both ends, well just one end actually. Now that that is secured, I come back round to the front and I do the same twist on the other side as well. So for the other hand. As you can see I'm in the white bit away so the white bit of the gilly I'm putting it away because I just want the purple to show so I tucked that away and I just twist as well and I bring it but this time around I secure it halfway through the gilly so depending on where you want your brothel to be at if you want it all the way to the side like almost towards the end you secure it towards the end if you want it in the middle you secure it in the middle if you want it on like the far end you secure it on the far end but this time around i wanted the ruffles in slightly in the middle not bang on in the middle slightly in the middle so i start to secure my gilly now with the pins and also get my pins and secure the ruffles as well and from here on the tutorial is self-explanatory so i'm just gonna hush 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 and let you guys watch closely
let me go. You can't stop my shine. Quickly, quickly, I rubbed the pussy all my song for you. Give my shanty a lot for possible. Here is the final look of the gillies are just pushing it slightly back for our edges to show. Our edges are not slayed, but hey, your client's edges can always be slayed. Pushed it back and this is the final look, guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Share it everywhere on your platform with people. Um, yeah, hit the notification bell so you can always get a notification every time I Lizzie Atkins upload new content. For now, remain blessed. Enjoy the rest of my daily tutorial. Do not be shy. Click on the playlist that's going to show at the end. Watch it and enjoy it. And let me know what you think about it, guys, in the comment down below. I look forward to seeing you all in the comments. See ya. What's up my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, it's Lizzie Atkins here as always and I'm back with another bang. Today I'll be showing you guys how to tie the bow gilly. So here I've got my purple gilly and I've divided it into two sections and I divided it into 60-40 so one side was longer than the other as you can see towards the end over here and once I've done that I grab my gilly and I start to create my pleats so I place it on my model's head and I create the pleats on her head you can always create the pleats outside of the head so you can do it then place it on Create the pleats and I shifted it towards the side so the shorter side to the side I wanted it to and then I move it all the way back requesting my model to hold it on one side so I've asked my model in in your case you might ask your client to hold it on the side whilst I do the other side I've gone and I'm doing the other side now just following the pleats that I've got from the other side and making sure it all matches all the way round. So once I've done that, I'm just making sure it's all neat and I pull back my, so I put all the, all of it together to create that scrunch in the middle and I do the same thing for the other one and I ask my model to hold on both sides because now we're about to knot it so we're about to tie it gathering all of the extra gillies I put it over and I knot it now so I'm tying it and just watch carefully how I tie it because I tie it and then I try and shift it to make sure it's in the middle. So I tied it and you can see I'm shifting both hands to make sure I'm getting in the middle. Remember you can always do your bow on the side, left side or the right side. But at this point in this video, I was trying to achieve my bow in the middle so make sure my pleats are all in place and make sure the gilly is secured it's tight enough not too tight but making sure everything is in place because you don't want your gilly falling off or you don't want your client's gilly falling off at the party whilst they're having fun so once that is done as you see i'm just trying to make sure it's all secure and i just pull that down and I leave I make sure because I'm trying to get the clear part of the knot the bits with the thread so just making sure all of that so now I bring the one behind and I fold in one of the side and fold in the other side at this point I fold it in and I start to roll them together in way of like an envelope sort of thing so I fold them 
both sides just to make sure my edges are neat. This is to make sure the edges are neat. If you want a smaller bow, you can fold it in even more. If you want a bigger one, you can fold it out more. So I fold it all in. And I once I am there, and then I just fold it all in place just to make sure my bow is giving that effect. Just make sure everything's placed, then I fold it all like that. So I pleat them over each other, and then I bring myself. Then I do the same thing for the one in front. So I get the one in front and then I swoop it over and without even pinning it you can already see the bow effect but you definitely want your ghillie to be on point so this is just me adjusting it and putting things in place and making sure they're in the right place and I'm getting it bang on in the middle so I go around to the back as you can see, I go around to the back and I do the same thing that I've done, but this time folding it onto the inside of the ghillie instead of the outside like I did with the front. So I tuck it all in, just the extra ghillies. I tuck it all, the extra material, I tuck it all in and I fold it as well. As you can see, roll, roll, roll. Just making sure the edges are all neat. And I grab my pin to secure it on both sides. And once that is done, I come back around to the front and I just start to make my bow into well, I want it to be puffy, a little bit of puff at the end and with the scrunch, with the scrunch, that little plate mm -hmm. on the side. So I try that, you know, put them together and I get another pin as well to hold it on the end. So on each end, I get a pin to hold it. So I do it for that side and I repeat the same step on the other side, the same exact step on the other side as well. So that is done now and I'm just using my hand to make sure they're secured, they're in place. I'm just playing around with it just to give it that shape that I want, the desired shape that I want. So you can always play around with your ghillie and just give it that. You see I'm, I squashed it up to give it that puffness because I don't want my ghillie looking flat. But that's it guys, I do hope you enjoyed today's video i do hope you think this game is nice do not forget to subscribe what's up my beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's lizzie atkins here as always and i'm back with another bang today is another gilly tutorial so keep watching so i have got my gilly here with me and i am dividing it into 50 50 bang on in the middle so here i've done the pleats and i am starting from behind my model's head so you can see i started off the pleat without placing the ghillie on my client's head and i have started and i'm just following the pleats all the way round to meet in the center of her head so I'm just carefully making sure all of my pleats come through and they show neatly across on the head.
once that's done i ask my model to hold it on the side so the side is done i ask her to hold it and then i get the other side and i do the same thing making sure my pleats are all coming through from the back and sweeping it around to the front all the way across her ear so you can see i placed it on her earlobe so if you're doing this on a client make sure they're not wearing earrings so it doesn't hurt their ears so you um, just following the pleats all the way around and all the way around and meeting in the front because this style is it requires v so it's going to have a v effect in front so the crossover effect in the front in the middle so that's what i'm doing and i'm just making sure all of my pleats are together and then now that i've got all my pleats i gather up all of the extra materials making sure i am covering the client's head at the back i grab I gather all my my extra material make sure it's tight and enough on the client's head and then i just carefully turn it over cross it over and just, as you can see and making sure the pleats are all in place and they are neat So now I am going to gather my pleats. So I'm going to start off and I've gotten it and then I'll grab a pin to secure this. So with this style, because there's no finishing ends because of the ruffles, you have to make sure you secure the gilly enough on the client's head. So here I'm grabbing a pin to secure this side and I, I do the same thing on the other side. So now my gilly is secured on this side and then I go over to the other side. Oh, sorry guys, I made sure I pinned it twice. So I did the top half of it and then the bottom half where I wanted the ruffles to end. Then I do the same thing on the other side. So now I am just gathering all of the gillies and straightening them up and making sure all of the platform and the plates are all together and neat and i just grab the same thing and i do the same thing i grab the end which is holding it up and i pin it down to secure my gilly on my client's head but in this case i'm a baby girl's head my model for today So now that my gilly is secured on my baby girl's head, I just come over, make sure my V is bang on the middle, and then I start to do my ruffles. So in this, the side, I did the different way of doing the ruffles. So I folded my gilly into two, giving the back being the platform to hold it. I fold it into two and then I start to do my ruffles. So that makes it like strong enough and steady enough to hold it down. So I just do my ruffles, I pin it, I do my ruffles, I pin it and I just continuously do that until I'm satisfied enough. Like until I was satisfied with my with the amount of ruffles that I had on the gilly. So I am going to keep quiet now and let you guys watch this as this part I feel like is self-explanatory so you guys can enjoy this part of the video
And then and now I come on the other side and this is my second way of me doing my ruffles. So this time around I start off with from the bottom working my way to the top. So I start to put the ruffles from the bottom and I do the pinning and I continuously do that all the way till I am satisfied. Again I'm going to keep quiet because this part of the video as well is self explanation. Keep watching guys.
If you have watched the video all the way to this point, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can always get a notification every time I release the icons of this new content and more gilly tutorials. Leave a comment down below, share with everyone and anyone, whoever is, this video is useful for, share with anyone or watch it a hundred times to get more information and to learn more. And if you want me to do any particular style, you can always DM me on Instagram at Lizzie Atkins or you can always leave a comment down below on the video. Keep watching guys. So once I'm done, I just bring everything together and just use my hand to just squeeze it all more together just to get that scruffle more effect, ruffles effect even more. So I just put my hand, I just use my hand to squash it even more to put it in shape. And that's the final look guys. I hope you liked this particular gele. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to your comments guys thank you so much for watching and remain blessed subscribe and i'll see you in my next video take it